Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss how to delete the notes in a circular double linked list. I will discuss the three scenarios. One is deleting a note at begin, at end, at a specified location. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me give an overview about the circular double linked list. It is a collection of nodes where each node will have the address of the previous node data and address of the next node look at this the circular double link list it is a col having collection of three nodes they are located in 100 byte 200 byte and 300 byte address locations now look at this node previous node address is 100 so it is pointing here so address of the previous node is stored here and address of the next node is 300 it is there so you have a node consists of address of the previous node and data which is two and address of the next node look at the last node the in it is a circle double link list so this node should point to the first node so how it is pointing address of the next node in the last node is having the address of the first node similarly this is the first node address of the previous node should have the address of the last node now to recognize the first node and the last node in a circular double link list we have two pointers called head and tail they are storing the address of the first node and address of the last node respectively so this is about the circular double link list now let me discuss how can we delete a node at the beginning so meaning is that this node you want to delete if you delete this node the head should be pointing to this node because this is the first node currently. So if you delete this node, then this node will become the first node. So always the head should be pointing this one. So how can you release a memory which is allocated during the runtime using a function called free. So the free function will take one parameter which is a pointer pointing to this memory location. Is it clear? So all these things I will discuss using a C long way. So, let me write a user defined function called delete at beginning or let me write it as delete at begin and every function will have the written type. So here I have written the written type as void meaning is that this function does not return any value. Okay. So what I will do is that I will create a pointer called temp of strut node or I am declaring a pointer called temp of strut node type and I am assigning whatever the value which is there in the head. So we have created a pointer called temp and we have assigned whatever the value is there in the head which is 100 currently. So now what I will check if I want to delete a node first I need to check whether any nodes are there in the list or not. Okay how I will check if head is equal to equal to null then I can say that list is empty. Am I right? If list is empty, there are no nodes, how can we delete it? So we need to display a statement as you are trying to delete it, but list is empty. So you can display a statement called list is empty. Then user will understand, okay, I am trying to delete a node where the list is empty. There are no nodes, okay, else if. Why I am writing else if is that I want to check another condition. Let's assume that you have only one node, okay, in the list, which is in the address location 100. You have the data 1, some data is there, and you will have head and tail. If you have only one node, you know that this is the first node and this is the last node. So, head and tail will be pointing to this node only. Now, address of the previous node, because it is a circular double link list, it will have the same address and address of the next node will be 100. So, this node is pointing to itself in a circular. Now, if you release this node or if you delete this node, there is only one node. If you delete this node, then list will be empty. So, how you can say that list is empty? Head and tail, if it is null, then you can say that list is empty. So what I will write is that how can I check only one node is there if head is equal to equal to head of next. Look at here what is head, head is 100 and head of next 
head of next is 100 of next is 100 only 100 is equal to 100 or you want to use the tail to check only one node is there or not how you can write tail is equal to equal to tail of previous both are same only so so if this condition is true what you can say only one node is there in the list then what you will do is that you will make head and tail is equal to null okay so you are making head and tail as null if head and tail is null then list is empty but still you need to release this one so how you will release you will write we need to end with the semicolon and we will write free function and we will pass the pointer name which is pointing to this one so temp is pointing so the memory will be released okay are you able to understand before that you can make one more thing also for a better programmers since lot of people will directly write this statement but as you are a better programmer you have to make this one and this one will be null is it clear so what we can write is that temp of next is equal to temp of previous is equal to null so both this one you should make it as null okay let me write it shortcut as n only then you can release the memory by using free function and you can pass the temporary now this memory has been released so this node has been deleted is it clear but this temp is consists of 100 which that memory location is not existing now so it is a dangling pointer problem so to avoid the dangling pointer problem you have to assign the null value to the pointer okay now it is a null pointer null pointer is better than the dangling pointer problem null pointer is this pointer is not pointing to any memory location instead of not pointing to any memory location meaning is that is better than pointing to a non-existing memory location previously 100 is there okay good temp is pointing to that one but that memory has been released by using a function called free then if still the temp is having that memory location that is not correct that is a dangling pointer problem to avoid that one we are assigning a null we are making it as a null pointer so let me close the else if block now i need to write the else statement meaning is that there are some nodes in the circular double linked list let's take this scenario there are three nodes are there if these three nodes are there how can we do it okay so if this condition is not false this condition is false it will come to the else block so temp is having the 100 location which is the address of the first node so it is pointing to the first node now you want to release this memory so what we will do is that first we need to traverse the head so what i will write head is equal to head of next okay so head is 100 100 of next is 200 now you are assigning to the head now head will have the address as 200 so it is pointing to the second node okay now you have to release this one before that what you need to do now if this is the first node this one head of previous should have the tail and tail of next should have the head is it clear those things we have to do it so how can i do it is that i will write a statement as head of previous is equal to tail so head of previous 200 of this one meaning is that this location you are saying tail which is 300 will come so this link will be down okay are you able to understand and this link is establishing let me use right like this this list is this link is establishing because this node is pointing this node but however these links are still there okay and then tail of next tail of next is equal to head tail is 300 300 next means this location you are talking you are assigning whatever the value in the head which is 200 so this node is this node is pointing to this node is it clear are you able to understand it or not but however these links are still there so how can you release those links 
or how can you delete those links you can write temp of next is equal to temp of previous is equal to null okay so you are making this temp is pointing this one temp is 100 so 100 of next and 100 of previous you are making it as null let me write shortcut as n then link this link will be down and this link will be down okay are you able to understand and this link also will be down all these links are deleted if all these links are deleted you can release the memory how can you release the memory let me write here or let me write here free of temp and then I will make temp is equal to null okay you can close the else you can close the function so this is the way you are releasing the or deleting the first node and temp now is having null is it clear I hope you have understood how I have deleted the first node now we will discuss the next scenario deleting at the end how can we delete the a node which is there in the circular double linked list at the end now how can you know that which node is the last node the node which is pointing by the tail is the last node so that one you have to release it so how we will do is that we will change the name of the function previously it was delete at begin now I want to do the delete at the end all these things are same if the list is empty even if the list is empty if you want to delete the last node or first node it is list is empty only if only one node is there then also the same thing else if there are more number of nodes are there if you want to delete a last node what are the things we have to do we will discuss now okay are you able to understand in that case what I will do here is that instead of temp is equal to head I will say temp is equal to tail okay now temp will consist of 300 is it clear are you able to understand now what you have to do if you delete this node remember one thing if you delete this node this will be the last node am I right or wrong then tail should be pointing to this one so what we can write is that first we will shift the tail so how can we do it tail is equal to tail of previous or you can write temp of previous also tail of previous tail is 300 300 of previous is 200 that you are assigning to tail now tail is consists of 200 okay so tail is pointing to this node okay now temp is pointing to this node now you want to delete this one so if you want to release this memory first you have to remove all the links okay so what you have to do if you delete this node temp of next or sorry tail of next should have the head is it clear so those statements you have to write tail of next is equal to head what is tail tail is 200 200 of next is this location you are assigning 200 okay is it clear are you able to understand similarly if this is the last node head of the previous node should have the tail so you can write this statement head of previous is equal to tail what is tail is consists of 200 so here it will come 200 now what happening this link will be down this link will be down okay this node is pointing to itself and this node is pointing to this end. but still this link will not be there are you able to understand it or not and this one is pointing to this one still this one is there are you able to understand and even this link is there because this is the 200 location so some links are there this link and this link is there because you have 200 200 so this one is pointing to this one and also this one is pointing to this one so how can we delete that one we can write the statement as temp of next is equal to temp of previous is equal to null 
then temp is 300 300 of next and 300 of previous you are assigning null values if you assign the null values all the links will be down from this node and to this node is it clear now this node is alone you can release the memory or delete this node how can you do it you can write a statement called free temp okay are you able to understand and then you can write temp is equal to null okay that's all close the else close the function so we have released this memory and then we assign the null value to the temp now it is becoming a null pointer and tail is pointing to this one and head is also pointing to the first node now this is the way we will delete the node from the end in a circular double linked list now let me discuss the last scenario one is that deleting a node from a specified position to explain that one let me draw a circular double linked list by this time i hope you are enjoying the video if you are enjoying the video please press the like button and share the video with your friends before sharing the video with your friends please watch the complete video okay we have three nodes which are there in the headers location 100 200 300 respectively and values are 1 2 3 are there and address of the next node is 200 address of the previous node is 100 address of the next node is 300 address of the previous node is 200 address of the next node will be the address of the first node and address of the previous node will be address of the last node is it clear because it is a circular double link list I hope you are able to understand and we will have two pointers called head and tail pointing to the first node and last node respectively. Now we will discuss how can we delete a node from a specified position. Let me erase the entire thing so that I will use this space to discuss the next scenario. okay so let me write a user defined function called delete at a specified position let me write it at, at pos okay it is the name of the function you have to follow the rules of the identifier okay now if you want to delete a specified position then you have to ask the user to enter the position to store that value you need to take a variable called pos of an integer and you will take or you will declare another variable called i and you will assign a value 1 to it okay what is the purpose i will discuss first you will ask the user to enter the position so print of enter the position whatever the position the user has entered you need to read it with the help of scanf function so scanf what format specifier we will use percentage d because it is an integer and we will write ampersand pos okay now whatever the position user has entered whether it is valid or invalid we need to verify what is meant by valid or invalid let me discuss for you suppose let's take that these three nodes are there if user says that he want to delete a node which is there in the position 2 position 2 means this node you want to delete it is it clear are you able to understand if the user says delete the node which is there at the position 3 you can delete it delete a node at the position 1 you can delete it but if user says that position is equal to 10 if a circular double link list is having three nodes how can you delete a node which is there at the 10th position that is invalid am i right so to verify whether it is valid or invalid we will take a variable called count and we will call the user defined function called length already i have discussed in the insertion about this length function this function will be useful for you to compute the number of nodes in a circular double link list okay if the position is greater than the count 
then you can say that it is an invalid position. So you can write a statement called printf invalid invalid position. You can use a escape character as backslash n. Else, if the position is a valid one, which is position is less than or equal to count, then how can you delete it? Now you can take that one. If position is equal to equal to one, you can delete. You can call the function called delete at begin. If position is equal to equal to count, then you can call the delete at big end. Is it clear? If you want to write, I will write for you. If position is equal to equal to one, then you can simply call a function called delete at begin because. Are you able to understand? I'm making it simple for you because position is equal to one means you want to delete this node, which is nothing but deleted begin. Already we have discussed about that one. Else if if position is equal to equal to count, suppose let's take that here. What is the count will be three because the number of nodes in the circular double linked list in this case is three. So if position is equal to is equal to three. Then you can simply call delete at end. Already we have discussed this one. Okay, are you able to understand? Else, if none of them is correct, meaning is that user has not entered the first position or the last position. If he entered some other one, then what we should do? Let me discuss for you. Are you able to understand it or not? It's very simple. If you do in a proper way, then the linked list is concept is very simple. If you start by harding them or if you start remembering the concept, then only you will face the issues. Okay. Let me erase this one also so that I can use this space to explain the delete at a specified position. Now let's assume that user has entered the position is equal to 2. Now he want to delete this node. If you want to delete this node, there should be a pointer pointing to this node then only you can call the free function by passing the name of the pointer name is it clear i is equal to one okay that is what the declaration so what i will do while i less than position okay i will write two statements one is i plus plus oh before that I need a pointer pointing to the starting location okay then only I can traverse it so what I will do is that I will declare a pointer called temp struct node star temp is equal to head so we are declaring a pointer called temp and we are assigned the hundred so what I will do while i less than position i will write i plus plus temp is equal to temp of next let me discuss what is the meaning of this one what is the i value i value is one position value is two so one is less than two yes this condition is true if this condition is true go, what are the statements which are there in the while loop need to be executed first statement is i plus plus now i value will become two then temp is equal to temp of next temp is 100 100 of next is 200 that you are assigning to the temp now temp is consists of address 200 which is pointing to this node is it clear then again you will check the condition i less than position i value is what 2 2 is less than 2 no wrong 2 is equal to 2 is it clear so this condition is false if this condition is false you will come out from the while loop is it clear are you able to understand it or not by the time temp is pointing to the specified location which location you want to delete so it is pointing to this one now we have to release the memory or delete this node if you delete this node this node should be pointing to this node and this node should be pointing to this node because if you delete this one then next node will be this one previous node will be this one am i right or wrong so how we will do it is that let me write here so how can you access this one 
how we will access this one temp of previous will go here of next so what i can write is that temp of previous you will go to this node 100 of next is equal to what we can write here it should have the address of this node this node address is 300 where it is there in temp of next so in temp of next 300 is there that you are assigning here are you able to understand so you got 300 so this node is not pointing to this one this node is currently pointing to this node are you able to understand similarly similarly what we want to do this node previous should have this address okay so how can we write in that statement temp of next temp is 200 200 of next is 300 you will come here of previous here what you have to do you have to write a statement called temp of previous why we have to do because temp of previous will have this node address so you are writing here 100 in that case this link will be down and this node is pointing to this node is it clear are you able to understand now what is the next thing we have to do it we have to make this one and this one is null so that this link and this link will be down so how can i write the statement it's very simple we already discussed temp of previous is equal to temp of next is equal to null so we are assigning null value here and we are assigning null value here then this link this link will be down then we have to release this memory how can we release this memory using a function called free we will pass the pointer name which is pointing to this one so free of temp this location or this memory will be released but temp is still having the address of non-existing memory which is a dangling pointer to avoid the dangling pointer issue we will make it as a null pointer so we will write temp is equal to null so now it is acting as a null pointer so we need to close this else block this else block and this function that's all it is very simple we have successfully deleted a node from a specified position in a circular double linked list i hope you have understood how to delete a node in a circular double linked list we have discussed the three scenarios one is deleting a node from the begin from the end and a specified location i hope you have understood all the concepts which i have discussed in this video if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.